Today we are going to replace that wobbly IKEA shelf with a homemade storage shelf that is strong and can be disassembled easily. I am going to build the shelf from construction lumber from my local home center. First, I cut the lumber to rough dimensions so that it's easier to handle. Next, I run the wood over my jointer to create a flat face and one 90 degree angle. Most likely you have seen this process already a few hundred times in other woodworking videos, so we can quickly skip through the jointing as well as the planing that follows afterwards to make all the sides parallel. With all sides nice and square, I cut the pieces to their final length according to my cut list. In case you're interested in the dimensions, I will have a free plan on my website. As we have a base in our room, the two legs on the back side are 9 cm shorter than the legs in the front. For the plan, I assume that you would prefer legs all of the same size. After cutting all the pieces to their final length, I use a modified version of my 3D printed dowling jig to place a few holes for bookshelf pins. Realistically, we are most likely never going to reposition the shelves, so I won't put hundreds of holes in the upright pieces, but just in the places where I want the shelves to sit. If you are interested in the 3D model for this jig, I will place a link in the description. Connecting the two side pieces with loose tenon joinery is quick and sturdy. Using my wooden mortise jig, I first draw the mortise in the short pieces. I then remove one of the stops at a time and position it at the outer ends and finally remove both stops and align the center marks with the jig to create the mortise in the middle. After putting glue on the floating tenons, I clamp the two side pieces together and let the glue dry. I'm going to connect the sides with four cross pieces. After marking the connection points, I route out the mortise as I did before. Next, I try something super smart that turns out to be a bad idea. I glue and nail a few scraps together so that the domino as well as my drill guide are locked in position. Unfortunately, I overlooked the fact that I designed the drill guide to reference against the shoulder and not the end of the tenon. At the end, I had to re-drill most of the holes without my fancy alignment jig. So if you build a shelf, skip this step and just use the method I show in my jig building video. I will put a link to that video in the description. Before gluing the tenons in the side pieces, I decided to finish them. So I spent a decent time sanding all the pieces with 80, 150 and 220 grit. After sanding, I apply a stain from IKEA and a few coats of polyurethane. Once the finish is fully cured, I glue the floating tenons into the side pieces. For the shelves, I use glued wood panels from the home center. I sand all the sides and all the faces of the boards and create a 3mm round over to avoid any sharp corners. As it was already late that day, I decided not to run the table saw but to pre-finish the shelves with two coats of poly and let them cure overnight. The next day, I use one of the cross pieces to set my table saw to the right width and cross cut all the shelving to their final width. For the pins I am using this special kind of hardware that is screwed into the side piece and locks the shelf in place with a vertical pin. To create the holes for those pins I glue and nail a few plywood scraps together. In the position of the hole, I drill a 17mm hole for the guide bushing of my router. This makes drilling the holes quick and easy. I have 10 shells, which totals 40 holes. Boring the holes is fast, clean and accurate with the jig. Lastly, I remove the wobbly Ivar shell from the room and put my shelf together. As there are quite some cables and pipes running through the room, I have to notch out part of the shelves. This also provides additional stability as it locks the assembly in place. 
as the shelf doesn't have a back panel, you normally would either secure to the wall or screw some kind of cross brace to the back side. After all the notches are created, the actual assembly is easier than putting a piece of IKEA furniture together. I just put it loosely together and drive in the screws that lock the tenons in place. This shelving is an incredible improvement to the laundry room and we can easily remove it for maintenance work on the heating system. Do you have other ideas where knockdown joints could be useful? Let me know in the comments. You will find links to all the homemade jigs in the description. If you are interested in more videos, please subscribe to my channel.